I mentioned earlier, kind of in passing, that all cells have a plasma membrane. Let's look at the plasma membrane in more detail. So what is it composed of and, and what does it allow, what does it do for the cell, aside from just providing a separation between the cell and its environment? Well, the plasma membrane has some really interesting characteristics. It's said to be a fluid mosaic, um, meaning that it's kind of like a fluid. So the things that are in the plasma membrane can slide past each other, they can move around, they're not necessarily fixed in place. Um, and then what does the mosaic refer to? This refers to the fact that there are a lot of things kind of embedded in the plasma membrane. And so it, it kind of looks like a mosaic. Um, what is it actually built from? Mostly phospholipids, and re recall these from the last chapter. What is a phospholipid? It's a molecule that has two lipid tails, which are hydrophobic, but then it also has a polar head group. And so that means there's a section on this molecule that, that does not like to be with water, and there's another section that does like to be with water. So what ends up happening is we get sort of two layers of phospholipids, and their tails point towards each other to try and get away from, from the water. Let me go ahead and bring up a picture so we can look at this together. Um, let's see here. Okay, so phospholipids are the main component of the plasma membrane. And in orange, we can see these are the polar head groups that like to be near water. And then dangling downwards, um, these are the hydro phobic lipid tails. They're trying to stick together to, to get away from the water. So we get what's called a bilayer. It's one, two layers of phospholipids. And these form spontaneously. If you put phospholipids in water, they will group together like this. So that's really neat. Um, and that's really a useful thing for cells to just be able to maintain their own integrity, right? If something comes along and pokes this plasma membrane, um, it will kind of automatically self-heal right there locally. So that's pretty neat. Okay, so phospholipids. And then there are some things embedded in the phospholipids. We have molecules of cholesterol. Those are shown in yellow in this picture. And we also have proteins embedded in the membrane. The proteins are shown in purple in this schematic. The proteins have lots of different functions. We'll be seeing a lot of these functions as we go forward in the class. Um, let's just take a look at some of them. Some of the proteins act as receptors, just kind of they're detecting what's going on on the outside of the cell. Some uh, molecules are able to bind to this protein and then that kind of sends a signal inside of the cell and causes things to change internally if warranted. Other proteins provide channels for transport. So this provides a place where things can be either brought into the cell or transported out of the cell. It can go either way. Um, some of those transport proteins have gates on them. We would call this a gated protein channel. So right there's the gate that can either be closed or opened. Um, here's another type of transport protein. It's right now it's open on this side, closed on this side, and it can it can flip. It can flip so that it's closed on the inside and open on the outside. So different varieties of transport proteins. And then we also have what are called glycoproteins. This is a protein that has carbohydrate attached to it. And those two things together are called a, a glycoprotein. Um, those are really important for this cell um, to be able to interface with, for example, the immune system. So there are immune cells that come along and just kind of check the surface of the cells, make sure they look like they're supposed to belong there. Um, foreign cells would not have the same sort of signature, so that's one way that foreign cells could be detected versus cells that are supposed to be there. So anyway, these proteins that are embedded in the membrane, they do lots of different things. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at transport across the plasma membrane. It's really important for cells to be able to transport things.